Hello everybody and welcome back. I just got in a massive shipment from McMaster with a whole bunch of parts. We are going to bring these upstairs and it is actually two of the pieces. We're going to be building one today and today is the electronics bench. So we got to pull these out, sort them and get building. All right, now that everything is up here, it's time to unpack it all so that we can inventory it all and start building. Here goes. Into the unboxing. That's a lot of extra aluminum. What's in box type number two? First thing looks like two foot. These are all my one foots. There are a whole lot of corner brackets in this one, as well as fasteners, nuts, bolts, the works. Additional set of them. This is probably the mounting top. And that's a lot in here. A whole lot more two footers. Then we have more brackets and screws and pieces. Again, more brackets, screws, pieces. Another big one. Not gonna lie, this one I've been most curious about because it's the biggest. We're gonna have gifts at Christmas. That's a lot of brackets. That's a lot of everything. There's more one foots. Oh, surge protector. And I think that's everything we need to build. Okay, time to unpack all of these bags. What were you? So these guys are for holding work surfaces to the actual top of these. We've got a couple of them that we're gonna do. These ones are for holding the raw materials to each other. These are just a whole lot of nuts and bolts. And then we have an electricity surge protector over there. That one's gonna go on the workbench because we do a lot of electrical stuff on there. Let's get to assembling. Step one, build the base. Two of these. Two of these. Do not need the sticker. And these guys go on the inside, I believe, double checking the plans, they do. And now we use all of these guys to do all the corners up. So one thing that I've always seen, you wanna make sure to put this little nub that's on the nut away from your Unistrut edge. It's not an alignment tool. I'm gonna preload these, so be back in a jiffy. Okay, everything is preloaded. These little guys are a little bit different because they have a screw, which is actually gonna come out. I don't know if I'm gonna use this because of the fact that it's really long, but these guys are all gonna get preloaded on the inside, which I can't exactly do later. So you kinda have to think through that step beforehand. These are gonna go on the inside of these two long ones. That way I can screw the top to it. And then this guy, we're all, yeah, all these guys are going to go to clean up the corners. So let's plug them all in. All the parts are on, let's Square them all up, tighten them, and we'll have ourselves a frame. All right, 
there is the bottom. So, the next thing is to make the bottom or the legs for it to stand on. So, we are going to preload it again. So, I'm just going to preload all of these because we're going to use them, most of them, and we're going to get to it. But, quick intermission. Lots of square stuff to make. So, we're going to start off with two of these. Hook them together in a 90. And we're going to do it one more time. This doesn't matter what the orientation is. So we're gonna go with that one just for fun. And keep it all nice and tight while we tighten it. Tight, square, good. Now we make one more of those. All right, now that we've got two of these, these are our legs. They're actually gonna attach to the two verticals. So we're gonna take two of these, lay them out lengthwise, preload them real quick to the rear vertical. This is the one that's gonna go next to it somewhere. I've made a mess. And the usual preload. Doesn't matter too much where yet. But real quick, before we seal that in, I wanna throw a grounding plug on there. I have one of these little guys. And basically it's just a spot for you to put a little grounding plug in there and then you can screw it to the wall. Basically just slide it on so that we can deal with it later. There shouldn't be any more parts on this one, so lift it up, line it up, slide it in sideways. Alright, now it's in to the point that it won't just fall over on us. And then the second one, keeping it square, that way we can loosen the other one, position it how we need to and not have to worry about this guy. Make sure this guy's square, pretty darn square. So now we gotta do these guys. And this one, orientation does matter. These things are just like giant Legos. They're Lincoln Logs, Lincoln Logs. This one looks like it goes like this. Slide it in, slide it in, bingo. This one slides in, throw it there. Now we just tighten most of this down, but not all of it because we want to move the whole thing down. All right, these are tight, these are tight, that's loose. Let's do the same over here. All right, and up we go. Gotta watch the light. It's a little wide. Not overly heavy. It's pretty cool. Alright, before I put too much away, let's keep working. Alright, time to build the shelf. It's actually gonna go much higher, but for building purposes, this'll do. So it's gonna go, this is on the inside. This does not have any other preloading necessary. What do you look like? Nice heavy duty power strip. Surge protective when lit. So, we really only have to put these brackets on. All three of these have to come on. And of course, they are flat screws and I don't have this flat screwdriver with me. So now that this is on, let's build our nice square shelf. And actually, I would like to pre-calibrate you height-wise because that little notch in the cubes is about where I would like my shelf to go. That should be pretty level and pretty close. Now to finish this off, we're gonna use a long one and two short one-footers. We are looking good down here, let's put it up. This is gonna be interesting to do. 
to say the least, because I got to do multi. I slide it in on multiple axes or axes. Axis? You guys pick. That's surprisingly strong. I like that. It's always good to find out that things are stronger than you anticipated or hoped for. Once again, tightening everything up because we are going to load this pretty heavy. All right, last part is the one up top. I got to put that on. but I can use the right side. Go figure. All right, I think the next stage is to put on the top. Don't hit anything. There we go. That's the top. we go. I got to do screwed in, but I think those screws are too long. Pretty solid too. So I do need to make a top one. I don't have the MDF to do that at the moment, so I'm going to do that one later. <sighs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me make this little electronics workbench. We are going to populate it later, move all the stuff that was in the other room over here. So stick around. Hopefully you guys are interested in that, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.